There is a biopic coming out pretty soon uh, that features the life of Hillary Clinton. Now, it specifically focuses on the year 1974 when uh, Hillary Clinton was working as a lawyer to impeach Nixon. So this is a very important part of her life because her romance with Bill Clinton is beginning, so you, got, you get a sense of that. Um, and it also talks about you know her achievements, her successes. Um, but when you read more about the screenplay, you realize that there are some issues with it, right? It focuses on the sex a little too much, if you ask me. So I'm going to well, read who, you. First, tell, tell us it's on that page. Who, who wrote it? I so love it. Uh, it, it was written by uh, Young Il Kim. Right. who is not very well known, um, but I'm sure after this film he'll be well known. Well, this film hasn't even been shot. Yet. It hasn't so been shot, shot or no. Cast or, yeah. uh, but uh, apparently it made a huge uh, splash among people in the industry. They're excited about it. It seems like it's going to happen. Rodham. Rodham. Yeah, the name <laughs> of the film will be Rodham. Um, so in the beginning of the film, uh, according to what has been written so far. By people uh, who've seen the whole screenplay. Yeah, by people who've seen the whole screenplay. And by the way, the Daily Beast wrote about this and they gave specifics. They, they pointed to specific pages in the screenplay. Now, the, the film opens with kind of an insult to Hillary Clinton. Um, according to the Daily Beast, she is described as a blonde with an awful haircut whose face is obscured by a hideous pair of Coke bottle glasses and who is, in totality, the valedictorian of the look-like-shit school of feminism. Oh, sweet. Bill Clinton, meanwhile, is described as a Viking with a full mane and six-inch beard. It's good writing, though. Like, it's descriptive. Like, and it's not untrue. You've seen Hillary there. It's not, and I'm not saying that she was unattractive there, but it was an effort, it, like, it's a, they got that, to me, they got that idea of that part of feminism right, like mm -hmm. a look that said, I am deliberately, don't give a shit how I look. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm, you know, and she had a very, she was incredibly successful and an incredibly important job. And then Bill Clinton did, he looked like the, you know, grizzly man with, the, except he was like fit, you know, Bill Clinton fit. <laughs> yeah. So, so it's interesting because, you know, I really do hope that the film does focus on her achievements and doesn't like, you know, devolve into like her sexuality because I get it. You sex sells and you want to include that kind of stuff. Based on what I've read about it so far, it seems like they reference her sex life a little too much, but I could be wrong. Who knows what the end result will Who be? Who the hell, whether you, if you love her and if you hate her, I bet you stand in the same place about wanting to see her have sex. <laughs> you know, I mean, if you love her, you're like, no, that's inappropriate. If you hate her, you're like, please, hasn't she done enough? <laughs> like, no, who wants to see no, her but people, have sex? We're like a sex-driven nation. Like, yeah. it, sex sells. And even if it comes to people like Hillary Clinton, people do care. I got to read more of yeah, this. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> yeah. what you're about to read, I'm totally into. So. You are into. Okay, oh, yeah. awesome. So, um, according to pages 18 to 25 of the screenplay, Hillary and Bill go back to her apartment and devour each other Ooh. as Bill presses Hillary against the wall, tears off her blouse, oh, yeah. and uh, bur buries his head into her cleavage. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> Why? Because like, that's not really a thing that. It's like it stops being like aggressively sexual and then starts being like what a 14 year old thinks he's gonna do when he has sex for the first time. You know, it's like I can't wait to get her naked and then I'm gonna stick my face in her breasts. <laughs> <laughs> like I literally, as you were reading it, I'm yeah. like, you know, tears off her clothes, and I thought, like, throws her over the couch. No, nope, nope. He motorboats her. <laughs> he yeah. motorboats yeah. her. Yeah. Right. Oh, oh, man. Yeah. So it continues. Their tryst, however, is broken up. Uh, several times by messages playing from the answering machine and never comes to fruition. Later on, Hillary complains about her sex life with Bill to two friends, claiming Bill is just using her for her DC apartment. When asked if the two have sex, she replies, it depends upon uh, what the meaning of the word sex means. Oh, little wink wink. Little wink wink, that's yeah. funny, that's good stuff. But yeah. like, I don't, like already, like nobody's sex was broken up by an answering machine in 1974. <laughs> Like Jim Rockford. If that know. was the case, then maybe the party did not want to have sex with one another, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, it's just, uh, now it sounds a little super awkward. But However, really good uh, setup if, to get an apartment, to, to use that apartment. He just has to motor boater once a week <laughs> and he gets keys. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yes, you know what? Clinton for president again. Can yes. we do it again? Yes. Another run for him. He's a genius. He's using her for a DC apartment. That's great. Genius. So there's more. Um, pages 60 to 66 include the following. Hillary is on a hotel rooftop having a drink with William Weld, who oh, has nice. just surprised her on her birthday with a vinyl record of the greatest hits from the Watergate tapes. Oh, what a terrible <laughs> gift. That's yeah. yeah. I was like, he's going to give her the new Fleetwood Mac album, you know, but, but no, uh, I'll get a little Manford man, but yeah. nope, 
watch the Watergate tapes. Yeah. Uh, they're listening to the tapes on the rooftop of the Congressional Hotel and draw closer for that inevitable kiss. By the way, what Hillary Clinton kissing William Weld, pretty much the least hot kiss in American history. Are you, are you flaccid thinking yeah, about that? Yeah, totally. Yeah, that's not... All right, so they uh, draw closer for that inevitable kiss when the moment is broken up by Terry Kirkpatrick, who tells Hillary she has a call from Bill Clinton, whom she hasn't been close to in quite some time, wishing her happy birthday. The flirtation with Weld is seemingly over, and Bill plays Hillary both happy birthday and hail to the chief on the saxophone. Uh, of course yeah. he does. <laughs> All right. No, but I mean that's that's cool. Moving in, stealing yeah. her from. I, by the way, I didn't. I guess may, people know this. I didn't know that Bill Weld and Hillary Clinton almost had a relationship, which I guess is in that screenplay for a reason. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't know that. Now this might be a dumb question, but I is this is this authorized or unauthorized? Is I'm pretty sure it's unauthorized. <laughs> but I mean, what if what if Hillary thinks this is like okay? Like want to you know keep in touch with like the, the young folks and stir things up a little bit. By the bit. way, it doesn't. It's not. It might be. I actually. mean, it's, it doesn't sound like anything. It's, it's not, nothing bad has happened. Well, I think the next part is a little more like L risque, uh -oh. controversial. I don't think it's like enough for people to like attack her and say like, oh, if she's running for president. We should use this in, in our smear campaign. The but most. it's still like I know that Hillary Clinton wouldn't authorize this. She wouldn't be like, oh yeah, totally talk about this. <laughs> 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 that is hilarious. Literally, literally my worst nightmare. <laughs> that that's the name that somebody gives my unauthorized. Biography. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. So pages seventy-two to seventy-four. Hillary and the impeachment uh, inquiry staff don't have enough evidence to impeach Nixon, but gi but Bill gives Hillary some advice, telling her to subpoena the recordings from the Roosevelt Room uh, of the White House. Hillary is so elated, she tells mm. Bill, I fucking love you, I mean that. I love you, I wanna fuck you. Yeah. In the script, Hillary often says, motherfucking, uh, much to Bill's delight. <laughs> All right. All right, so she's got a mouth on her, but that's, yeah. that's credible, believable. Again, that's not gonna... Yeah. No, I, like I said, it's not going to destroy, but like I just don't see her like reading the screenplay and saying like, oh yeah, That's yeah, awesome. totally. So, so I awesome. approve. Yeah, I approve of this. <laughs> exactly.